Hello, my little rays of sunshine. How are you all doing out there today? I'm Michelle the Introvert, and today I'm going to be working on a really nice rhubarb recipe. I have it written down here, actually, and it was sent to me by one of my viewers. Thank you, Elaine. This looks like a great recipe. Yes, Elaine has sent me this recipe for rhubarb dump cake, and it looks so, so easy. I've never made it before. I've never tried it before, but I'm excited about trying it for the very first time. And I'll give you all a close up of all the ingredients and the directions. Rhubarb dump cake. You will need four cups of rhubarb, a three ounce or an 85 gram box of strawberry jello, one box of white or vanilla cake mix, half a cup of butter, and then melt it, two cups of water, and one cup of sugar. Here are the directions. Layer the cut up rhubarb in a greased nine by 13 inch pan. Sprinkle the cup of sugar over the rhubarb, and then sprinkle the strawberry jello on top of the sugar. Pour the dry cake mix over rhubarb. Pour two cups of water over the cake mix and then lastly, pour the melted butter. Do not stir. Bake at 350 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes or until bubbly and lightly browned. And you can serve this with ice cream. I have my four cups of rhubarb. It's actually frozen rhubarb that I have in this pan. But I have my four cups of rhubarb in the pan. And I have my jello and also my box of white cake mix, two cups of water, my melted margarine and white sugar, all ready to go for this very easy recipe. Of course, I used this non-stick cooking spray in the pan before placing all of my rhubarb in there. And my next step will be, according to this recipe, sprinkle the cup of sugar over the rhubarb. So that's our next step. Let's get working with the sugar. So here's my white sugar. And we'll just sprinkle it over the top, nice and evenly, so that the cake won't taste too, too sour. Just the right balance. And next, I'm going to open up this box of jello and put the jello powder on the top in the same way. And here's the strawberry jello. I think this is going to taste really nice. Elaine, you have some good ideas. Thank you very, very much for sending me this recipe. I love to try new recipes, so I'm very grateful that you sent this one. Looks great. Oh, gonna pour the rest of this out here. There, that looks pretty good, I think. Nice and even. So our next step now is to open up this lovely box of cake. And according to the recipe, we can use white cake or vanilla cake. And today I have the white cake and it's the Duncan Hines. I bought this on sale. <laughs> so we'll start putting the cake mix on and here it is and I have the bag all opened so now you just do the easy part and just pour it nice and e even over the top of everything else pour some on this side too of course and the next step after this one is pouring the water over the top of everything that's in this pan. So that's pretty easy. Pretty easy. Just trying to pour everything out here. Here I am with my spoon. We'll get this all covered over evenly, even in the corners and the sides. And I'm going to turn the oven on to 350 degrees 
and then pour the water over the top of everything here. And here is one cup of water. Just pour that over the top. And now my second cup of water and pour that over the top. Oh, I can smell the strawberry jello. It smells really good. <laughs> and lastly, we need the melted margarine. And that gets poured over the top of absolutely everything. This is really easy. Surprisingly easy. And I'm looking forward to trying this new cake. This rhubarb dump cake. I have the oven all ready to go. And when I put the cake in the oven, I have to leave it in the oven for 40 to 45 minutes or until bubbly and lightly browned. <laughs> so this is exciting. So this is what it looks like before I put it in the oven. And I will show you all what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. And that'll be in 40 to 45 minutes. And here it is, the wonderful rhubarb dump cake. I just took it out of the oven and it looks fantastic. I am looking forward to giving it a try, but I think I'm going to have to wait just a few more minutes for it to cool down and then I'll give it a really nice taste test. I think the cake is cooled down enough for me to give it a taste test. So let's give it a try. I have my vintage bowl already and my big spoon to take it out with. And it looks absolutely delicious. Take some out of this corner here so we can all take a look at what it looks like when it comes out. Mmm, looks really good. Still a little tiny bit of steam there from the heat. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. That looks quite nice actually. Really nice. And this is a close-up, and I have my vintage spoon already as well. So let's give this a little taste test and see what we think. Mmm. This is really, really good. Remember, it has the strawberry jello. So it has a strawberry flavor and the rhubarb as well and the cake. So it is really, really good. I'm going for another bite. Mm -hmm. This is really good. This rhubarb dump cake is not going to last long in my house. <laughs> no. Oh, it is that good. Yes, I can see Gerald having seconds of this tonight after his supper and probably Joshua will too. <laughs> yes, my friends, this is definitely a keeper. I will be making this recipe again. It's a wonderful recipe and the cake is absolutely delicious. If you like this vlog, my friends, please give me the YouTube thumbs up or press that subscribe button, that would be great. In the meantime, I have more vlogs coming up, so stay tuned, and I'll talk to you all soon. Talk to you soon. Bye.